Hello everyone, this is Sheila. Would you like to learn how to grow succulents from seeds? Are you also looking for a good, reliable source of these succulent seeds? I'm so excited to say that this video is for you. You'll also see some super cute baby succulents like lithops, split rocks, desert roses, green novias, and more. So let's proceed. Key point number one is to use the right soil combination. So we are starting with the soggy wet coconut core and then we're adding cactus soil mix and perlite to make it a bit fast draining but not too much. So what type of environment do you think we need to create for these succulent seeds? Ironically, all succulent seeds need to be sown in a wet soil mix. Succulent seeds need humidity so that the seed coat will be soft enough for our baby succulents to push out. I just have to show it again because this is super cute. Again, make sure that your soil is really wet. Before I show you how to sow the seeds, key point number two, which I think is very important, is to buy them only from a reliable source. Who are you buying it from? The seeds that we're sowing today are from unusualseeds.net. This is how their website looks. So please take note, it's unusualseeds.net and not .com. Later in this video, I'm also excited to share with you our coupon code. Who doesn't love coupons? I love discounts. I'll talk more about the great stuff that they have. But for now, let's proceed to key point number three because we have seeds waiting to be sown. So key point number three is still to use spots with drainage holes because we will be spraying the soil a lot while we are germinating to keep it moist. Key point number four is also very important, which is before sowing the seeds, make sure that you have properly labeled Ziploc bags, especially if you are sowing multiple kinds of succulent seeds. These bags are helpful with keeping moisture in the air and soil, and you'll also see how it's done later. Key point number five is to start putting the soggy wet soil in the pots and allowing excess water to drip out. Another method is to put dry cactus soil mix in a pot and place it in a basin of water and allow it to soak up. Key point number five is all about sowing the seeds. There are lots of creative ways of doing this and since some of the seeds are so tiny, I'm showing you my method of making sure that I won't lose any. So I use this paper. You can use any kind of paper as long as it has a smooth surface and you'll see why in a bit. So this is without the seeds first, okay? So we are laying this paper flat on the floor if your pot is on the floor. And we are going to place the seeds in the middle and then we will make a canal for the seeds to slide through. That's why we need a smooth paper. So here it is with the seeds this time. Some use moist toothpick and that's an option too. It's just that there is just way too much risk of dropping the seeds elsewhere other than the pot. See how these are like dust? Can you even see it? I think you can see it better at this angle. See how you can easily drop the seeds and you can't even tell if they are dust or not? Later in this video, I'm also sharing a little experiment that I did, so keep watching. Adenium seeds are actually bigger, so we can use tweezers to pick it up and put them in place. You have the option to soak these seeds in water for 30 minutes, or just make sure that the soil is always wet and they will sprout babies. Please take note that we didn't push the seeds in. Then we are just shoving very little wet soil on top to soak up the seeds further. Once all the seeds are sown, key point number six is to cover them with pine sand using wire mesh. For this, I'm using my succulent tweezers to shake up the sand. About three to 10 millimeter of pine sand is enough to cover the seeds. Key point number seven is to make sure that you mist that topsoil again. Before I give you key point number eight, as promised, unusualseeds.net is giving you guys a whopping 30% discount 
and the discount code is this. Again, for a 30% discount, simply use this discount code. If you have questions about the discount or the coupon code, please comment it down below and I'm more than happy to address them for you. Now, key point number eight, after covering with fine sand and misting, place each pot in the labeled Ziploc bags. Key point number nine is to put them under a grow light. Grow light, as the name implies, encourages growth and helps maintain a temperature of about 70 to 75 degrees Fahrenheit, which is the ideal temperature for them. Temperatures can drop to as low as upper 60s as long as they are under grow lights. As promised, here are the succulent babies. So these are the baby split rocks. I had to use toothpicks to hold them upright because some of them has gotten leggy and they are too top heavy. These guys will grow to this. Here are the lithops. They are starting to look more like lithops now. At first, they were just like little round buttons. These babies will soon be like this. And here's the tiger jaws. We only have one for now, but pretty soon, there will be more. They just sprout at their own pace, and they will be this. Here's the anacamceros rufescens. You can barely see anything for now. I think the camera might be able to pick them up. And these guys will turn to this. And here's one of the adenums. The rest of these are eager beavers and a lot bigger than this hesitant guy. And I'll show you those in a bit. So if you would look at this little baby here, you can tell that she is well ahead of the other one. Her seed coat is already off and she has leaves growing on her. These guys were all sewn on the same day. And this leads me to key point number 10, which is don't expect the seeds to sprout on the same day. Factors like maturity of the seeds, temperatures, and the amount of moisture affects the rate of growth. So be patient and remember how rewarding it is. And since I love experimenting, I didn't put fine sand on this one. This was actually the first one to sprout. But practically all growers, even I would tell you to cover them with fine sand. See the difference? You will find that there are so many ways of growing succulents from seeds. And so, as I always say, feel free to try new things. And these guys are going to grow into this big, gorgeous, flowering succulent. These Brinovias are the last ones to sprout. They sprouted two weeks after everyone else. I'm guessing more will be sprouting in the spring, so be sure to subscribe so you guys won't miss the next update video. Because these guys will soon be this. And here's my favorite because they all look like little green balloons and it seems like they all sprouted around the same time too. And these cute little balloons will grow to be an even cuter Conophytum calculus. Again, the link to unusualseeds.net is in the description below to ensure that you will be directed to the secured site. All the breathtaking succulents that I've been showing throughout this video are available there. And remember to use the coupon code to get the 30% discount. Our coupon code is also in the description below. At this point, you may click out of this video or stay to listen to my message for you today, which is, are you looking to see positive changes in your life? Then dare to step out of your comfort zone. You can't be doing the same things and expect to see changes. Again, you can't be doing the same things and expect to see changes. So dare to step out of your comfort zone. Thank you, this is Sheila again, your person on a mission for succulent fame, sending inspirations your way with every succulent. Remember to subscribe and share this video.